as of um, August 18, 2017, I'm 66 years young. I'm going to attempt to do an exercise. Uh, I've been I do every five times five times a week. It's Friday right now. So hopefully I might be able to do 21 again like I did yesterday. I don't know, but here it goes. Notice I put my fist on the hard concrete floor. I put my toes on a desk. Then I'm gonna try. Okay, I think I did either 20 or 21 years. Now, years old. This is usually the young kids do this stuff and flex their pectorials. Now, this is my form of self-defense. My first form of self-defense keep my body as strong as possible. My second form of self-defense is to make an attempt to be kind to everybody, treat people as I'd want to be treated. These are the exercises. These are the exercises that I do every day. Call them my life extenders. Knuckle push-ups, up and down, I call them bur burpees. Sit-ups, that's where I, I put my feet in close as possible to my body. I don't, I don't lay them out like the regular people do. I don't need anybody to hold down my feet. Toe touches, that's where I take and I bend. That's for flexing, where I touch my toes. Then we got the wall sits, that's where I lean against the corner of something and I have and I hold a heavy weight, I bend my knees and I try and hold that position. Then I've got uh, toe raises. That's where I'll get up and down on uh, each toes for and then uh, then I got the uh, one foot balance and then I got the hand squeezes. David Hesselhoff said this, it's easier to stay in shape than to get in shape. And I believe that. Now here's, here's my other form of self-defense. It's my PDFO threats and prostitution. They keep on my door. Cops assign them to perjury. See that? See that right there? Jim Bike Man. PDFO threats and prostitution. It's only one page. This is it. And anybody 
anybody. See, I haven't put the statutes down here. Look at this. See, I'm not going to waste your time. See, I can put, put my P.O. box down there and everything like that where people can write me on this piece of paper. Look at all, see all the statutes I got there? See the statutes right there? So that way, there's a reference there. Anybody can go back on what I got to say. See that right there? Look at that. Now, see, the only, only thing, I don't, I don't do no drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. My guitar of choice, my, my drug is my guitar. That's it. That's it. That's what I, that's all I want it to be. My self-defense on my bicycle is, I got a sign. I'm letting people know. 316.083 of the Florida statute specifically states, cars have got to stay three feet away from me at all times. Now this statute down here, Florida statute 918.13, for a cop not to include your side of the story, he's done an alter, conceal, or destroy. If you're accused of something and your side is not written down, he has done a felony. But th this has been done, God knows how many times this has been done. So anyway, um, I'm far from perfect. And uh, now, every day before I, when I get up in the morning and go to sleep at night, I make it a point to read this thing. You who made me, please allow me to always thank you for the things you gave me, my health, my strength, my memory. by not giving up when many people say you can't and I don't give up. My ability to play guitar, being in peace with my fellow man to the best of that I can, taking care of my needs, when or or where or sure, I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to happen. See, the thing is, I was born a lifelong orphan. I never knew my mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, cousin, or anything like that. Um, and the thing is, this is, I was also born ugly on top of that. That's the ugly truth, man. When you are born to where you're ugly, you're not invited to uh, parties or anything like that. They're the inner circles of people. Yeah, you're politely treated, but you're never invited in, inside the, the inner circles. That's just the ugly truth. See, I'm going to show you right now. Okay? See? I, you know, I can't do anything about my face. I know I was born ugly, but at the same time, I also make it a point to treat people in a manner in where I'm, I, I try to have a kind word to say to people. So uh, even though I was born with this ugly face, okay, even though there are people that, have, that were born drop dead good looking and they did the ultimate sin. And by, what I mean by the ultimate sin is I didn't make me. I don't have no right to take me. That, that S word should have never, ever been in our society because man can never profit off of it. There's this lie going around. If you do it, oh, you'll be out of your miseries. Bull motherfucking shit. So, see, so thing in this life, there's no guarantee that a person is going to be born where everything is going to be fine. Maybe that's the test in life. Things are going to get motherfucking shitty. I'm 66 years old. This has been the worst year of my life medically. But I'll tell you what, I've proven to struggle to think about the things my maker has given me. My health, my strength, my memory. The only three things I want from my maker, I don't ask my maker for nothing. My maker says in the Bible that already if, if the lilies are taken care of and the birds are taken care of, surely won't we be taken care of? So here's the three things that I ask my maker. I want to know how, the gifts that I was given that I don't see, the gifts that I was given that I do see, and then somehow or another maybe 
I contributed towards making this a better society. Now, now this is what this this. Okay, see here. This is what our maker meant for us to do. Our maker meant us to be man and woman. Not man and man and woman and woman. See it right there? It's now 2017. I made this over a year ago. In the Bible, it teaches under Judges 19 and Genesis 19 of the Bible, where Lot had a visiting male visitor who came to his place, and he said, well, I'll camp outside. And he said, no, please don't do that. He said, there are sodomites. Well, see, Lot didn't understand what a sodomite was. There was no way for him to know because it was strange to him, to his visitor. So what happened is, is Lot said, please, to sodomites, don't violate my neighbor. I've got two young daughters, virgin daughters, never known a man. Do what you want with them. But please do not do anything to the man. So what happened was they violated the man and they also violated the, 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 uh, the virgin daughters. Now see, if that was taught in schools, we wouldn't have this problem now as of 2015, 2017. 2015 is when they made it to where a man and a man and a woman and a woman could marry each other. I bet you the barnyard animals think, man, we've gone crazy. That's right. We're going absolutely crazy. See, the thing is, this is, the sodomites have used the words to get over. First of all, the rainbow, they made it their flag. That was a promise from God that there would never be a flood on this earth again. But you see, the thing is, this is, you can...